What is up everybody? This is Jay, and today we're going to be reviewing the St. Splooge President's feature length movie. Finally. Now I know I've been talking about doing this for a long time, and you know, if this becomes a thing, and there are many movies in the series, um, you know, I'd like to become like the Gene Shalit of uh, AI President movie reviews. Uh, you know, Gene Shalit, great person, rest his soul. Um, you know, and I'm really working on it. I just got to work on the, you know, being more obnoxious part. But big ups to St. Splooge. He started, you know, with little shorts, working his way up to, you know, giving us 20, 30 minute episodes of the uh, AI president cinematic universe. And uh, he went ahead and it and took a few months, but he has produced a feature length AI president's movie. So today is going to be my reaction slash review of the movie. And let's get into it. Okay, so before we get started, uh, I should make it clear, um, if it isn't obvious by now, that this is going to contain spoilers and massive ones of that. So if you have not gotten a chance to watch The President's The Movie by St. Splooge, uh, watch it first before watching this review, because it will contain spoilers. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's just make this full screen here. And I'm not going to be watching the whole thing because it is an hour and 46 minutes. We're just going to kind of review some of the, uh, you know, the opening, the middle, and the uh, and the ending here. Right off the bat, I really like the um, the intro here. Seems to be uh, already some Joe, higher uh, production get quality some here. Before school starts. And it's broken up into chapters, too, so you don't have to watch it all in one shot. The animation is getting a lot better. Great job, man. Hey, dear, did you sleep good? Yeah, I guess so. Haha, <laughs> look at that little guy. Be sure to eat up, bud. It's always good to start your school day with a healthy breakfast. Uh, yeah. If you can take advice from anyone, Ben is the guy. He just scored a perfect score on his SAT. <laughs> he is at the Shapiro. top of his high school class. I, I Isn't that right, dear? Joke, That's right, sweetie. Shapiro I am the smartest bully. kid in the entire and school. Of course, in this I know you are, ben big Shapiro man. Is dating you Joe Biden's You should follow in his mom. footsteps, Joe. <laughs> I know you are only in middle school right now, but high school will sneak up on you before you know it. You are so lucky to have a positive role model like Ben in your life. Gross. Can you guys please not do that in front of me? It's weird. Come on, champ. You want your mom to be happy, right? Well, I make her happy. I am her knight in shining armor. Isn't Ben Shapiro are. everyone's knight in shining armor? This is so gross. Armor, Why do you though? have to be dating a high schooler? It's so weird. <laughs> Come on now, dear. Me and Ben have been dating for almost a year. You should be used to it by now. And besides, the age of consent in this state is 16. We just checked with the court last <laughs> night. Me and Ben are going to be uh, official. That, that is, That's correct. That is vile. Me and your mother are so that happy together. I complete Saints her. Bluge. It would sure be a shame if she didn't have her own oh, son man. supporting Where, her. How do you come up with this dialogue, man? Okay, boys. I gotta go to work. You boys be good and make sure you guys get to school on time. We will, dear. Okay, I love you guys. Have a great day at school. Love you, Mom. Just reading Garfield. Popeye. Again, awesome animation. How does it feel? Your own mother is in love with the man you so despise. It must feel like shit. Just leave me alone. I can't wait for school. I'm coming down to the middle school today to help out some of the teachers since I'm the best high schooler in the world. I will be sure to pay you and your loser friends a visit. Screw you, Ben. Your mom already did that last night. Did you hear us? I, I made sure, sure that she was, was as loud as possible. Well, like, oh, he's got the actual, about... he's got the actual like uh, lip animations now to look like they're talking. These deep fakes just get better and better. Awesome, Saints Bluge. This. See you in school, loser. I cannot wait to shed my supreme dominance over you and your loser friends. And it looks like we have live some streaming ads can here. be tricky, and sometimes trying to find the right software. All right, let's click through that. I am so sick of Ben. It's bad enough that he makes our lives a living hell and bullies us, but he also has to be dating my mom. Ben is a fucking loser. We should prank him super hard. We can't. We will get in so much trouble. Chill out, guys. He started driving recently, so at least we won't have to ride the bus with him anymore. I just don't get it. He is literally in high school. I don't understand what my mom sees in him. If I'm being completely honest, I don't get what Ben sees in your mom. Shut oh, up, though. We just brutal, need to keep our heads up. Brutal, don't worry, Bonnie. boys. We're going to be the new cool kids one day. I can feel it. 
We just need to find a way to show the kids at school that they are assholes. If we continue to be losers, I will never get to be with Hillary. Dude, you still have a crush on Hillary? She's such a bitch. <sighs> Shit, be cool, guys. Here comes the bus. All right, guys, I am done sitting in the front of the bus next to all the handicapped kids and the nerds. Let's go sit in the back where all the cool kids are. That was always a thing back in the day, and I'm sure you all remember this, too. Cool kids always sit in the back of the bus. You know, you can't you can't be cool if you sit in the front of the bus. It just doesn't work like that. Sorry. What are you guys doing? He's going to kill you if you sit back there. <laughs> it's OK, Jerry. We got this. Guys, maybe he's right. Maybe we should just sit here and get to school safely. I'm not going to let those assholes determine where we sit. We should be allowed to sit Trumpy Trump. wherever we him. want on the bus. Oh, geez. This isn't going to be pretty. The cool kids are going to do something really bad. Please, guys. I don't want to watch you guys get bullied. Quit being a little wall. bitch. Come on, boys. Let's do this. I'm making you what feel the fuck the tension. are you guys doing? <laughs> well, uh, what's up, Hillary? The back of the bus is only for the cool kids. You losers can't sit here. Out of our way, bitch. We can sit wherever we want. Uh, catch you later, Hillary. Maybe I'll see you in class. You guys are fucking idiots. Well, well, well. If it isn't the three most pathetic jokes in the entire school. Screw you, Vlad. You don't own the bus. We can sit wherever we want. And today, we are sitting back here. In case you have forgotten, I am the coolest kid in our grade. I shall not allow three peasant losers to sit back here with that me and my loyal food. minions. Yeah, you losers should accent? leave. I can't Vlad tell. is super cool and amazing. Like, I will defend him if you try anything. Yeah, Vlad is super cool and popular. Can you back off. Us, like, what you guys are the are biggest you dick riders I have ever seen. You just Three hang you out with him so he won't bully you. You are a loser, bitch boy. <laughs> that was so funny. This is what I'm saying. He is just so quick with it. I shall give you one last warning. Go sit with the handicapped kids or I shall exercise my dominance. Donald, I don't like this. Let's just give it up. Maybe Joe is right. This isn't worth it, Donald. Hmm. Let me think about it. Yep. Fuck you, Vlad. We're sitting here whether you like it or not. Very well. Let this be a lesson on all losers who seek to break the pyramid of balance and law. Ah, the spitball. A small piece of paper that is crumbled and then chewed using These saliva, segments hence the name uh, every, all the high school terminology. It is then used hilarious. as ammunition through a straw to deliver pinpoint accuracy to whoever the target is. And when Vlad shoots a spitball, that can only mean one thing. Get it! Fire oh, you you <laughs> Kids just have random apples. Cool. The cool kids are just all right. So now they're in school. Here's Bush. You see the kids moving around in the background again. A lot of uh, attention to detail and the animation on this. This same splurge. I really got to give you your props. You hey, can look see everyone. it's the human you know, This disposal. movie took uh, <laughs> good one, Vlad. This movie took a few months to make, but like the little detail he put into this is really impressive. I know it's just like a silly like meme movie, but uh, that's not to be overlooked. Anyway, well, let's continue. Here's uh, here's Putin again. Ah, perfect. Oh, geez, I don't want any problems, Vlad. No, well, a world with no problems costs money. That's something that actually I can see actual Vladimir Putin saying: a world without problems costs money. So uh, again, great job. Like uh, I feel like you've actually kind of got the uh, personalities of some of these politicians uh, correct here. Yeah, give us your lunch money. What? But I need it! You already took my lunch money yesterday and the day before. Mommy says I'm not eating enough! Lunch money now, or else we will put the human garbage where it belongs. Please, please, just leave me alone! Give Vlad your lunch money. He's the coolest kid in school. You have no choice. Time is running out. If your lunch money isn't in my hand in 10 seconds... Keep going. Um, I'm way harder. Now, when now the uh, principal like Pingus from the previous the uh, episodes and the chin here now. Sir, I'm sorry. I can't get out. I'm stuck. Why the fuck are you in there in the first place? Vlad and his friends shoved me in here. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been a fucking loser. Vlad and his friends are good kids. Now get the fuck out of the trash can before I give you a fucking detention. A home scapes all my own. <laughs> it's fun. Have you tried playing it? I haven't. It's yeah, so apocalypse. All right, we got them in class. Uh, there we go. I'm stuck. You're
Here's uh, my ass is in my face, Kim Jong Un and Andrew Tate <laughs> Look, confront those the giant cool kids. Can't fit through the vent. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't touch this, losers. <clears throat> There's losers in the locker room. Ew, get them away! Oh my God, gross. What are you guys doing in the girls' locker room? You are going to get in so much trouble after we tell on you. Us? What about you guys? Yeah, you'll get into just as much trouble. For your information, we were busy getting to first base. You losers cock blocked us. How come they let you guys in here? <laughs> Is that really a question? I am one of the coolest kids in high school. And I am the coolest kid in middle school. What? I know you guys don't get it, since you guys are the most pathetic excuses of students that the school has ever seen. But cool and popular kids like us are especially popular amongst the ladies. Exactly. We are at the top of the food chain. Girls are only a luxury for top class students, not the pathetic losers at the bottom. Whatever. It's still against the rules. If you turn us in, you guys will be joining detention with us. Exactly. Let's just walk separate ways Mutually and pretend assured this never destruction. Happened. I don't think so. Something We're going to turn you in and watch you run in detention. With. Newsflash. The new principal isn't worshipping you guys like the old one did. I wish all of my students were like that. Oh, oh yeah, let's see who the new principal is. I wonder who it could be. I know, because I watched it already. That won't matter. Everyone knows that we are the cool and good kids and that you guys are the loser bad kids. Exactly. You can literally go and ask any teacher who their favorite student is. I guarantee you several of them would pick me. That's crazy. You guys are delusional. You guys interrupted our time with the ladies. We are turning you in. Hang on, Ben. Before you turn them in, why don't you let us have some fun with them? Yeah, they let off a stink bomb in our locker room. You guys totally deserved it. You guys made me drink expired milk out of the garbage. Yeah, and you guys oh, shoved an expo <laughs> marker up my ass. Wow, it seems these losers are way out of line since they think it's okay to talk to cool kids like that. I suppose you guys may have your fun before we turn them into the office. Excellent. This will teach you little butt wipes to I, not I mess wish, with us. I wonder if Andrew Tate really watched this, what his reaction would be. That's right, they were in the girls' locker room, and they were yelling at us. We were running from the jocks. Yeah, we didn't even mean to go to the girls' locker room. Unlike them, they went in on purpose. Okay, I've heard enough. It seems like Kim Principal and Andrew Bernie aren't Bernie Sanders. Yes. Here we go. What? Open your eyes, old man. You guys literally attacked them with markers. And you guys were in the girls' locker room doing God knows what. <laughs> Sir, I think you should consider taking more time on this decision. I don't think so. Ben and Vlad, you guys are hereby okay, receiving a detention AI for this afternoon. This is perfect. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, but I just came by to let you know What's with that, that those two in boys. It's <laughs> just not important unless you're a cheese. <laughs> just a little like jokes, hit, little Easter eggs hidden in the background. Oh man, this this is a gem so far. We're only what fifteen minutes into this movie, and I'm I'm rolling, dude. Threw a giant stink bomb in the boys' locker room. And I had to take 20 minutes off from my lunch break to clean it up. Give those kids a fucking detention. Boys, is this true? All right, we're going to skip ahead here. They Talk all to get his detention. Parents. We need to make sure that he gets uh, the help he needs. Let's go, let's he see. Ha ha, loser. Get bodied, loser. Ouch, please don't hurt me. <sighs> see this kid? I'm so much cooler than him. He is nothing. Just nothing we can do about it. Attention to work in the field of education. The honor is mine, Miss Smith. I will work hard to continue to be a beacon of light for all students who seek to undermine this school's law and order. Unbelievable. I don't get why every fucking teacher worships you, but you will pay for this one day, Ben. I am a supreme student, the best that ever was or will be. I am a glittering example of what it means to be a noble student and learner. I am the physical embodiment of the ideal ben and Ben Shapiro's dialogue student. is so you over the top. But scum from the it's kind of like how Ben Shapiro system. is. We know, shall like now use our the real actual Ben Shapiro you in your Fox place. News when he over enunciates and explains things more than they need to be explained. Wow. I can't believe they were in the girls' locker room. I know. Not only that, but they were making out with them. That's so unfair. They are somehow so cool that the girls literally let them in the locker room. This is absolute bullshit. It's whatever, Donald. No, it's not whatever. This is serious. You guys should be mad. You guys should be furious. This has gone too far. Donald is right. I'm tired of the cool kids bullying us all of the time. They make our lives a living hell. Well, it doesn't matter. There's nothing we can do about it. Attention, everyone. Attention. Huh? What does he want? I know you guys have never done this before, but as the new principal, I am imposing a new school position. A new position? What the hell is he talking about? Here at this table, 
you can cast your name in to run for school president. The school president will be a lucky girl or boy that you guys, the students, collectively vote on. One of us could be the school president? School president? What even is that? The school president will have the special responsibility of representing the student base during times so of school levies know what the or financial decisions. Anyone can cast their president. name in as long as they are a middle schooler. That is all. School president, huh? That sounds interesting. I wonder who it will be. You hear that, boys? That's what we everywhere. It's not just us. People would definitely vote for us. We're not the okay, only ones who are sick of Ben, right Brad Ping, and epic. all the other cool kids. So I'm just going to be quiet you know what? and let you guys Maybe watch. Donald is right. Maybe one of us can be the class president. He's totally right. You guys may not realize it, but there is way more of us than you think. Back in the days of ancient Rome, slaves made a giant part of the population. In the pyramid of Roman hierarchy, Roman slaves were at the bottom. They had essentially no rights and were essentially products owned by other Romans of higher social status. Slaves could be beaten, tortured, worked to death, sold to other Romans, or even get bullied by their masters. It was the worst life one could wish for back in those days. No offense, Kim, but what does this have to do with anything? Oh, he's it is said that Obama. one day, a proposal was once made to the Senate to make slaves at the time all wear the same color of clothing. That way, they would be easily identifiable out in public. However, after the Senate discussed the idea further, the idea was quickly dropped. They realized that if all of the slaves in Rome wore the same color, they would be able to easily distinguish one another. The Senate feared the slaves realizing their true numbers. If the slaves knew just how many of them there were, it could have led to a revolt of the masses, a revolution. One thing that the cool kids don't realize is that after years and years of keeping themselves at the top of the food chain, the vast majority of the rest of the students were left at the bottom as losers. The cool kids stay cool by making all of the losers feel alone, like they are at odds, like they are outnumbered. They divide us. That's why everyone hates us and makes fun of us. Do they truly think we are losers? Or are they just trying to fit in and make sure that they follow the social structure that was built by the cool kids to avoid being prey and sharing our fate as the biggest losers in the school? Okay, that was just freaking epic right there. Saints Bluge, like, just, ha I don't have a hat, but hats off for that. Um, one, right, you've got that Roman Empire. How often do men think about the Roman Empire meme that keeps going around right now? Um, and this video just, I guess, cements that. But, I mean, for him to fit that into the context of a uh, of a middle school election and have Kim Jong-un <laughs> narrate that, uh, that was just freaking epic. I'm actually speechless. I don't even know what to say. Like, that, even out of the context of comedy, was just a great uh, speech right there. Um, yeah, so for those of you who are wondering, it's about 20 minutes in, in this movie, to get to uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, epic uh, monologue about the Roman Empire here. Come on over, David, and let you introduce yourself. Good morning, North Middle School. <clears throat> My name is David, also known as Don't Do Drugs, David. Today, we're going to talk about why you shouldn't <laughs> do Percocet, drugs, unless you get a back injury. That is, in that case, it's totally fine. But sometimes people will assume that you faked your back injury just to get Percocet. So for anyone that thinks <laughs> that it's fake, we are going to be looking into what back injuries qualify to get Percocet. Six out of ten doctors would agree with the fact that he... All right, this is already getting pretty boring. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, Let's get this the, show on the road. Kim, you ready? Talkies. We, the school president, we will put an end to this madness. Speech. We will make this an equal school for all. No more will we get in trouble and take the blame for stuff that the cool kids did. No more will we have our girlfriends stolen. No more will these assholes dominate every single extracurricular activity. No more will you be called a loser every single day. Vote for me to be school president. We will work together and get revenge on the cool kids. He's right. The cool kids must be stopped. Maybe Donald isn't so bad. I will vote for Donald. 
Wow. It, it worked! Look at them. They love him. And just like that, it's just like a with real the words Donald of Trump hope speech. and revenge they, they love pouring him. out of Donald's mouth, the school rejoiced. It was realized that the losers were not alone in their way of thinking. They were able to come together with so Donald gives a cool their speech. Place. Master, then I'm capable of such a position. To, uh, Xi Jinping. He's the main bad guy in this movie. We will see. My it's decision kind of like, is not uh, final. You know, I'm simply Palpatine considering and, uh, all of my options. Ben is kind of Prove like, yourself uh, to me. You know, Darth Show Vader me that you are the most that, worthy Darth of Ball. being king of the high school once I graduate. Do as I command, and we will see if you are truly worthy. Weak. Now I'm going to put gravy into this chocolate now they, milk now and then drench the sandwich. Now we've got some about them making gross things Jeez, for lunch. that's just absurd. Did any of you guys no ever do this that. when now you I'm were in Now I'm going to take this cup and make a mixture of Italian dressing and cherry Kool-Aid. Gross, If you can just make the grossest thing and eat it. You're right, Andrew. I'm not going to drink it. This kid, this I'm going to gonna pour it onto the sandwich and eat it. No way, I, I feel dare like you. This was a he common ain't going to eat that. Go on, Obama. Eat it. You don't have the guts. I will literally vomit if he eats that. Watch and learn, boys. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, there's no topping that. Ha, no way. That's grotesque. Yep, Obama wins. GG. And that is how you make a ham sandwich. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, hey, Joe, what's going on? Joe's going to talk to him. It's amazing, isn't it? There is no bullying at all today. I have never felt so free. Yeah, that speech that Donald made was pretty... And let's see, we've got... Seriously saying that I would do anything cool with him. kids are meeting. He's a pathetic loser. Simon Cowell is a cool I would never go out with too, him. By the way. Good. It's kind of cool. I'm glad you still have your senses. Simon Cowell is a pretty We shall cool find guy. you a boyfriend of cool kid nobility. When you are ready. Cool! So are we agreed then? I will run for school president and date Hillary so that their campaign is one shot. After that, everything will go back to normal and we will continue to dominate everyone. Personally, I think Vlad is the best option. No offense, Damon. He is just such a great kid. Teachers and students alike would agree that he is the coolest and best kid in the middle school. I think I must agree. Don't get me wrong, Damon. You have done well for yourself in the social arena. But I think Vlad is our best option. Whatever you say, Ping, you are widely known by everyone as the coolest and best student in the entire school district. That's why you are king. Your word is law. Very well. I shall run for the position of middle school president. The losers will be sorry for trying to flip the pyramid that we worked We've so already got hard such a good plot Excellent. building, and we're only we, shall now uh, we still our have nearly we still to have begin over our ultimate campaign this movie. and keep those losers in their place until the day they graduate. We're gonna scroll ahead though. What's happening? Take this hot dog and shove it up your ass. Oh yeah, the food fight. <gasps> Donald is in a food fight. Aren't those the guys that are always hanging out with Vlad? Let's get them. Hey everyone, food fight. <laughs> the effects here, love them. What the hell? Got, What's they got, they got Georgie. <laughs> This is crazy. This is an all-out war. Come on, there's some pizza over here with gluten in it. Let's throw it at Trent. <laughs> yeah, ah, screw you, burnt. Trent. It burnt. Go! That's it. You're dead, Kim. I'm out of juice. I have a bunch of yogurts and pizza rolls ready to reload. Hurry! Russell is coming this way. Copy that. Banana peel. Ugh. Direct hit. He's back up. Reloading. Who are you guys? What's happening? Ben? You're one of Donald's best friends. And for that reason, you are going to publicly announce that Donald should not be president. Screw you, Ben. I will do no such thing. You will. Or else I will resort to extreme measures. You will do this. Or else. Or else what? Screw you, Ben. I'm not going to do anything you say. You've been a dick to me ever since my first day. Ping. It seems that our prisoner is not tamed yet. Perhaps you should persuade him. Yes, master. You know his head's going to the toilet. Where the hell is George at? On your six. We got Simon I coming in. I actually saw that happen to anybody when I was actually in school. Oh, hell nah. It's like this rave one's exaggeration. Mine. <laughs> Damn, good one. Guys, look, Jerry is in trouble. Haha, <laughs> okay, fine. Headshots are three points. Ha, let's go. Oh, no, not again. Ow! Ha, now I'm in the lead. Getting Come smacked on, we gotta dead get in moving. the face with Make an apple would really hurt, I'm not gonna lie. It'd probably suck. 
TV. There news. they are. Yep, they're giving George the swirly. I will ask again. And again, I have to say, like, I never actually, in all my time in school, I never saw one person actually get their head dumped in the toilet. I think that is a, uh, the myth of the swirly was great, was uh, grossly exaggerated. You Let's will come to going. the cafeteria and publicly announce that Donald should not be the school president and that you will vote for Vlad. Never. Put him back in. Yes, master. <laughs> the effects are so good. For something with low to no Keep budget. him in there. Yes, master. Imagine if we could actually get this guy a budget to make like a movie. Give it like, another let him flush. direct a film. Or even write one. Probably make a masterpiece. This is terrible. The poop marks are starting to come loose. The poop marks are starting to Bring come him up. loose. <laughs> Quite the fool you look right now. Drinking out of the toilet like a dog. Perhaps you should comply and end this misery. Accept it. Donald is going to be the school president, and then you guys will never be able to get away with this kind of stuff ever again. Put him in. Perhaps it's time you learn to listen to your superiors. The lunch period is almost over. We must have him ready before it ends. <gasps> this whole scene right here is so epic. You guys started. I would this love mess. to know it too. Would sure be a shame seeing if you guys Fluge, you can tell so us soon. like it took exactly. a few months to make Come the movie. How long did it take you to edit this entire scene Ouch. with the food fight here? No, Obama. And uh, you guys? George's head you have being tainted my good name long enough. Eat this. There's nothing we can do. We're outnumbered. Uh, no. What good are numbers when you have a slingshot? Doing what is necessary to protect our popular way of life. Yes, Master. Is Ben starting to change his mind? So anyway, as I said, we're not going to watch the entire uh, movie. Um, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, but yeah, this has been my reaction to my review. This was awesome. This was well worth the wait. Um, the time and the uh, effort just spent in the Easter eggs in the background, um, you know, the new animations. It was so good. And honestly, like even like the dialogue, like uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a part with Ben Shapiro at the end where he actually challenges Ping, uh, you know, for the uh, for the king of the uh, high school. Um, just the just the dialogue. Like I, I want to know, Saint Splunge, how long did it take you to one to animate some of the scenes, like the soccer game and the food fight, um, but also just to like write the script and come off with this dialogue? Did you come up with all of it yourself? Did you have somebody like you know help you make this? I mean, this was there was just so much um, done by one person here. Um, so anyway, my review of this is that. It was awesome. You, 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 you probably your reaction is going to be like, you know, okay, the AI memes are great. They're hilarious. Like, yes, I watch them. I laugh. They're pretty funny. Do we need one that was an hour and 40 minutes? Well, an hour and 46 minutes to be exact. Um, after watching this one, and it did take me some time to like finally get to sit down and watch it. Um, but yeah, this, um, this had me laughing pretty much throughout the entire thing. Um, and I thought, you know, well, you know, what if it's stale, you know, 20, 30 minutes into it? Um, but no, like, honestly, like this stayed funny throughout the entire duration um, and actually had a really good plot. Um, you know, more than I was more than you'd expect from like, you know, just a, what you would think would be a joke movie. Right. Like, but no, um, it was really good. I actually really think that uh, Saints Bluge has a future as like an actual writer and or director. Um, like if you think, but this is basically done with no budget, right? Uh, if you could give this guy like, you know, an actual budget, uh, to direct, um, or even write a movie, I think you'd get something really good. He's really great with comedy. I was laughing throughout the entire thing. He really developed each career, uh, character. I loved what we got with Ben Shapiro here, kind of a Darth Vader return of the Jedi when he betrays Emperor Palpatine to save Luke at the end. Uh, similar, and again, won't spoil it for you. Watch it for yourself. 
but uh, kind of a similar thing with Ben here. You can see the influence of other movies and uh, media in this, um, but I, I, I think that's okay. But I think he did a really, really good job with this movie. It was well worth the wait. It was well worth the hype. And um, I really enjoyed it. So great work, St. Splooge. Lucky to see. Um, I'm uh, waiting to see what you have coming next. I know you're going to do um, a mini series on the principal. Uh, there's going to be the uh, Kim and Andrew series and uh, The Wrath of Ben, which as soon as uh, the first time I saw that, I was like, oh, like Star Trek, The Wrath, Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan, except this is The Wrath of Ben. Um, so I will definitely watch all that stuff. If you guys haven't seen Saints Blue, subscribe to his channel. It really blew up, but that's because uh, this, as far as AI uh, voice content goes, this really is the creme de la creme of the content. Anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on the movie. Check it out. This has been Jay Tahoe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.